Good morning. You want to see something? Watch this. Ah, you were expecting more drama, weren't you? <laughs> And that was, that was the exact same cut that I was trying to make yesterday, only that was 10 years ago. And that was the exact same cut that I'd made countless times making that exact same bandsaw box. But those were all on my old bandsaw. But I gotta tell you, if you're making woodworking videos and you really want to increase the views on a video, make sure there's some drama in it. <laughs> Yesterday's video had like twice as many views as I normally get on these videos. Here's the funniest thing, is I've seen a lot of woodworking injury photos. People love to post those on Instagram for some reason and, and videos. But if there's blood, people really wanna watch that. But if I make a video with a lot of fake blood in it for Halloween, ugh, people don't wanna watch that. <laughs> So how are you doing today? Quick warning, this video has no woodworking in it. It's just a bunch of stuff I need, I've been wanting to catch up on. If you don't like this kind of video, there's no need to leave a comment telling me about it. Just, you can just click away. First, a couple of follow-ups on that would-be bandsaw box video from yesterday. I'm going to recut my original bandsaw box video, which was almost exactly 10 years ago. It was on May 29th, 2010. So I'm just gonna recut that, make it a little shorter and a little bit more palatable in its crappy format. And I'm gonna re-release that because I think it's a good, fun project to make if you have a bandsaw. Also, thank you all for your recommendations on buying a new bandsaw. And you know, a lot of you have gotten me to thinking about maybe changing my opinion about the smaller bandsaws. Maybe I'll try out a nine or 10 inch bandsaw. I don't know. A lot of people who have them say they really like them. I saw a number of people who said that the Ryobi is it a nine or 10 inch saw that they've had really good luck with it? I guess the biggest problem is the capacity that you can't cut much more than maybe three inches thick or so, but that's pretty much fine. And I just want something that would store away that I don't use a lot. Again, a bandsaw is really not within the format of this show. It's kind of like, you know, like a CNC would be really cool to have, but it's just, it's not woodworking for mere mortals and I gotta stay true to the concept of this show. I'm on a mission here. These last two videos that have been focused on a bandsaw have really reminded me that I need to stay in my lane with this channel. A lot of people recommended a video by Alex Snodgrass. I don't know him, I don't know the video, but you might wanna look that up. Apparently that's got, that is like the definitive video for setting up and using a bandsaw. And finally, a lot of you suggested that I build my own bandsaw like Matthias Wandel did and that again is really outside of the format of this show that's that would be much more advanced level woodworking than the audience I'm trying to reach besides he's got the definitive videos on building bandsaws I think he's made like 50 did you notice the shirt this is given to me by my good friend Megan and she just she gets me she got me this sign for my shop too that's the whole Texas Chainsaw family. Oh, and speaking of spooky things, I was on a podcast last week. And this is the first time I was on a podcast that wasn't a woodworking or maker podcast. I was on the Monster Professor podcast by Josh Woods. And we just talked about all things monsters and my love for horror movies. So if you get a chance, check it out. I thought it was a lot of fun. You know, it's like my second major passion is, is horror movies. And so I'll, I'll have a link down in the description, probably to the Spotify. That's what I use Spotify, but you can find it anywhere. Josh is an actual professor on monsters, PhD. I don't know if he's a PhD or not. I wanna thank Matt, who sent me a card game called Candy Grab. Kind of reminds me of Candy Crush. I haven't played this yet, but I do like card games. This looks like his company. It's called Matt Games, and the note is from Matt. So, deductive reasoning. Do you ever play Exploding Kittens? It's like my favorite card game. That one is really, really fun. Another thing that I'd like for your suggestions on is I'd like to keep this vlog going. I'm enjoying doing it, at least for now. But at some point, it's not gonna be called lockdown woodworking anymore. Where I live, it's, we're still basically locked down. But I'm not really sure what the definition is when there's no longer a lockdown. I, for me, it means when everybody is free to go back to work. I think that would probably be the defining point where we're no longer locked down. Yeah, I don't know what to call this show. And I'll keep doing this until either A, I get tired of it, or B, people just completely stop watching it. Probably B will happen first. I got a couple of projects in the works. First of all, I wanna make new doors for that 
shed out back, that storage shed. You know, I, I think I showed you those before, how those doors are just so warped and it was that wet lumber that I used for those. So I wanna come up with a different design, maybe one that's not quite so bulky and heavy. I don't think they need to be that heavy. So that project is coming up soon. And another thing I wanna do is I've got another bedroom, the third bedroom that I need to make a new closet organizer in. And I've actually made videos of two. You saw the one closet organizer in this series and then one a few years ago I made in the craft room closet. This is also the kind of thing where there doesn't really make any sense for me to include that in these videos since I've already made one and it'll pretty much be similar to the one I made in the master bedroom closet. But like everything in this show, I'll keep you posted and show you updates along the way. I probably just won't break it down to individual saw cuts because it's gonna come with its own set of issues, I'm sure. Okay, you ready to see how the cat tricks are coming? So a lot of you have been asking for an update on Bubbles, because she's, she's our star of the cat tricks. Cobra's good, he's getting really good at standing up, and that's kind of where I want his focus to be, is I want him to be able to walk on his back legs like, like a human. He, he's getting there, but I'm gonna kind of focus him on that. But Bubbles is just, she really takes to any new trick. So I made that hurdle for her. I wanna show you now where she's at. She's really making progress. We're gonna see if we can jump over this, but we're gonna start down here on the floor. You ready? Ready? Down. Good kitty, good kitty. Jump. Jump. Down. Good girl. Oh, stay there. Up, good kitty. Jump, good kitty. Jump, jump, up, good boy. Jump, jump, you can do it. Jump, jump, yay, good kitty. Okay, up, up, higher, higher, higher. There, there, good boy. Over, good kitty. What do you think of that, huh? I mean, the last one there, level five. I didn't think she was gonna get to level five that quickly, but on level five, she actually had to make the jump. She couldn't just step over it. And she did it a couple of times, and then she did it again last night, which I don't have on video. And then this morning, she wouldn't do it. She just wanted to go under, so. It's a work in progress. I'd like to teach her to do a couple, yeah, I'd like her to teach her to roll over. I don't know how easy that's gonna be. And then maybe do like that, that military crawl. So then she could do one jumping over and then she could do like one crawling under. <laughs> yeah, this is the definition of still being in lockdown. <laughs> I'll, I'll see you guys later.